Corneal decomposition following glaucoma drainage devices is seen in approximately 20 to 30 percent of the patients. This particular patient has three tubes. No wonder he ended up with a corneal decomposition. Now, doing a DSEC procedure in the presence of one, two, or three tubes is always fun surgery. The big problem that you uh, uh, that you see is that the air bubble escapes out through the tubes, uh, causing the graft to uh, decenter in the immediate postoperative period and necessitates reflotation. Here I'm demonstrating how to reflot the graft in, in this uh, at the slit lamp. Again, like uh, the rest of the slit lamp procedures, betadine prep and tetrac and lidocaine drops are a must. A slit lamp a patient is adequately positioned in a slit lamp. The 30 gauge needle. Is, uh, is used to load up the viscoelastic. Um, the 30 gauge needle is used to enter the anterior chamber through the limbal area, making sure that the graft is repositioned. Um, the way I load the 30 gauge needle, initially there will be a tiny amount of viscoelastic in the beginning, followed by air bubble, and then the rest of the viscoelastic. It's what I call as an airlock technique. So when as soon as I enter, a little bit of viscoelastic is in, initially injected. This is followed by the air bubble, which you can see right now occupying the superior half of the um, of the anterior chamber, locking the graft in position, followed by injection of the rest of the viscoelastic. What it does is to the initial viscoelastic will uh, hopefully prime the tubes. Um, uh, so it, the air does not escape too fast, followed by the air bubble injection. This is followed by the injection of the viscoelastic that will lock the, visco, uh, the air bubble within the viscoelastic. And once this is done, um, the entry point of the needle should be uh, closed by pressure using a, a Vexel sponge um, uh, or a cotton tip soaked with uh, lidocaine. Now the patient is positioned um, flat um, uh, for the next 10-15 uh, minutes such a, in such a way that the air bubble is centered against the graft um, and is instructed to do so when he goes home for the rest of the day. Works like a charm. Uh, you remember the airlock technique when you want to do a desec graft reflotation in the presence of tubes. Thank you.